high grade tens. In this lesson, we will learn when and how to factorize when we are working with powers. The exponential laws can only be applied within one term. If an expression has more than one term, we will first have to factorize it before applying the laws. These take a bit of practice to recognize. Look at this example. Simplify 2 to the power of 2x minus 2 to the power of x. There are two terms in this expression. We know this because of the minus that separates them. Remember that the laws of exponents can only be applied within one term. Before we factorize this expression, let's see if we can make it simpler to work with by using the laws. The first term of the expression is 2 to the power of 2x. By using the law of exponents that talks about raising a power by a power, we know that this can be rewritten to be 2 to the power of x raised by the power of 2. We know that any number that is squared is simply multiplied by itself. This means that 2 to the power of 2x is also equal to 2 to the power of x times by 2 to the power of x. Let's put this into our expressions. So we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. Remember the factorizing rules? We can take out a highest common factor from this expression. Our highest common factor is 2 to the power of x. So if we take it out by dividing each term by this factor, we get 2 to the power of x multiplied by, in brackets, 2 to the power of x minus 1. We are not able to simplify this expression any further. As we can't factorize it or apply any more of the laws of exponents. Now let's try a slightly harder example. Simplify 2 to the power of 2x minus 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x minus 1. Because this is a fraction, the whole thing can be one term. However, there are two terms in the numerator and two in the denominator. We are not able to do cancelling unless there is one term at the top and one at the bottom. Notice how the numerator has exactly the same terms as the example we did before this. So, let's start by factorizing it. We do this by taking out a highest common factor of 2 to the power of x. In the numerator, you get 2 to the power of x multiplied by, in brackets, 2 to the power of x minus 1. Look at the numerator and denominator. They have a common factor of 2 to the power of x minus 1. Let's put brackets around the denominator to make it into one term and then cancel it with the numerator. We are left with 2 to the power of x. I think we should try another one. Factorize this expression. 3 to the power of n plus 4 minus 6 times 3 to the power of n plus 3 over 7 times 3 to the power of n plus 2. Let's start by writing 6 as a product of its prime factors. This becomes 2 times 3. The rest of the numbers are already prime numbers. Remember that the laws of exponents can only be applied within a term. In the second term of the numerator, we see two bases with the value of 3 multiplied by each other. This means we can add the exponents giving us 2 times 3 to the power of n plus 2. 3 to the power of n plus 4 can also be written as 3 to the power of n plus 2 plus 2, which can then be written as 3 to the power of n plus 2 times 3 to the power of 2. 
When we do this, it becomes easier to see the common factor of 3 to the power of n plus 2. Let's take it out. Now that we have one term in the numerator, we can cancel with the denominator. We can cancel the 3 to the power n plus 2 in the numerator with the 3 to the power 2 plus n in the denominator. So we get 3 squared equals 9 minus 2 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator. So we get 7 over 7 which gives us 1. These problems take a while to get used to and a lot of practice is needed. Let's do one more question together. Look at this trinomial. x to the power 2 thirds minus 3 x to the power 1 third plus 2. Remember you learned in algebra how to factorize quadratic trinomials? Even though the exponents are fractions, this is a quadratic trinomial. We just have to write it in a different way so that it looks like a trinomial we are more familiar with. We can rewrite x to the power 2 thirds as x to the power of a third all squared. So our expression becomes x to the power 1 third squared minus 3x to the power 1 third plus 2. Can you see the trinomial now? Let's carry on. We can now factorize this by using the factors of the first and last term to give us the middle term. We will use two brackets. The first term in both brackets will be x to the power 1 third. The factors of positive 2 that will add up to the middle term of negative 3 are minus 2 and minus 1. So in the first bracket, we have x to the power 1 third minus 1. And in the second bracket, we write x to the power 1 third minus 2. And that is how we factorize an exponential trinomial. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.